Right, so hi, my name is Master Beer, and uh, I'm here with Mr. Garth Barnes. You might know him if you're, I would say, under 25-ish, under the 28-ish, as that dude from another band. But today we're not about that. We are here from an old school band. So if you're approximately, I would say, 28 and up, you'll know him as the dude that jumped around the stage for the band called Tweak. And guess what, bitches? They're back. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to be back, man. Yes, like, dude. Um, wow, where do we begin? I mean, Tweak's back. That was about the biggest thing that I heard in quite a while. Yeah, it's, uh, we weren't really sure. Let me, this is very unprofessional. I'm just going to put my phone on silent quickly. It's okay. I'm not going to edit this out. <laughs> Flight birds, right. I'll um, do the same now. I can feel better. <laughs> she said, a bunch of pros here. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember what the question was. So, Tweak being back, tell yes. me more. I mean, you guys right. were active, what, I would say, from what, when did you start? Yeah, man. Look, 19... we, uh, 1998. Eight, yeah. Yeah, so we're uh, giving away our age here, big time. It's <laughs> like another, it's another lifetime, man. To try and, you know, to try and put myself back in, in, in that place is a very difficult thing to do. So, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's happening. And, and we're not back, back as in we're, you know, carrying on with the band and, and, you know, moving forward and hoping that we're going to be the next U2 or anything. <laughs> Basically, it's 10 years since Tweak uh, broke up, effectively, since we played our last show. And um, we thought, well, you know, what better way for a couple of buddies to, to uh, relive their teenage years than <laughs> yeah. to have a bit of a, an anniversary show. So, so that's what we're doing. We're three of the four guys uh, back together. Um, we're, we're starting out at Opie Copy. We're doing the first show there, which we're super excited about. We've got a lot of history with Opie Copy. Um, and then we're going to do a couple of shows around the country. And we've got the new single, so exciting time. That new single, we'll get to that in a second <laughs> because, yeah, I've got a lot of comments about that. But I have to ask first, you know, you guys, you know, officially broke up. I actually went to do my homework. Yeah. You, you know you've got a Wikipedia page. I know we've got a Wikipedia page, but it's, it's I think it's pretty inaccurate. The last, you know, we try to like update it and keep it... Uh, you know, like legit, but there's like some people out there that just keep changing it. Yeah. We don't have time to sit there every day. So what does it say? Well, you broke <laughs> up in 20, uh, 2004. Okay, it's 11 year reunion. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. But uh, oh, I don't know, they were talking a bunch of crap about how cool you are. Uh, but I think they called you an alternative grunge punk. Wow. I, I, I can remember. Wow. But they had a very cool description. So Alright, was... cool. Maybe we'll go steal some stuff off there. Thank you to whoever <laughs> keeps our uh, Wikipedia page up to date. Well, mind you, I mean, that's pretty much, you started a brand new Facebook page, if I'm not mistaken, because when you came onto the scene where you're still active, Facebook, Twitter, nada. None of that, man. You know, if I think back, I think two years after we broke up, I remember sitting in the UK, and being on the internet and being like, wow, look at this MySpace thing. It's going to revolutionize bands, you know? So there was no there. There was no YouTube. There was no Instagram. There was no Facebook. It was like, there was no MP3s, man. We were talking CDs at that time. Yeah. So like, yeah, different time. But it was... Now, how much have changed? I mean, certainly you've grown as a musician and as a person. And I mean, you reached a, what I like to call the new teenage years, which is like... <laughs> new teens. Up. Yeah. And uh, uh, what's changed? I mean, surely you can't go back to being the six-year-old kid on the stage. Or well, whatever. you say that, but that's exactly what we wanted to do. You know, if you go, I mean, you go listen to the song, it's ridiculous. Anyone who takes that song seriously <laughs> has a problem. So, yes, one hand, you know, we've all grown as musicians and people and yada, 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 and we're all mature adults now. And that we save, well, we have been saving for Crash Car Burn. This was an opportunity to go, listen, if I was my teenage self right now, and I didn't think about song structure, I didn't think about the fact that, hey, you can't put a rap song and a rock song and a reggae thing, you can't do that. If you just throw all that out the window and don't worry about the fact that you're not allowed to swear on radio, yada, 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 what comes out and the latest single was it. <laughs> That's a nice thing about having your, your shirts on grind radio. You can say fuck. Oh, so you got the unedited version. Oh, yes. Fuckity, well, fuckity, shit, shit. We officially started from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you go. I, I, I'll give you the high quality version. Yes. I mean, don't download songs, kid. Pay for them and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, uh, you say you've got a couple of gigs lined mm -hmm. up. Um, I know Opie Corpy is coming up. Um, what else? Okay, so Opie Corpy is obviously the big one. You know, that's the one that um, is uh, like sparked the whole thing for us. So. Um, one of our guys lives uh, in the UK, so he's coming out for that. But obviously it's expensive to get out here and whatever, so to help pay for all the bills, we've got a show 
uh, at Rumors, we've got a show at Arcade Empire, we've got a show at um, in Stellenbosch, that one we're still trying to pin down, and we've got a show in Cape Town. Um, and possibly a show in Minoni. Are you going to play a gig at a house party? <laughs> If, uh, if somebody invites us, yeah, <laughs> hell, why not? We'll do it. For a birthday party, Birth, you send out cards. Birth. <laughs> I had to. I, you really I had, had to. Okay, <laughs> let's just get it all out the way now. <laughs> I'll stop now. I'll stop. Now, uh, there's one very important thing that I think that needs to be addressed here. Mm -hmm. A lot of your fans for Crash Car Burn, you know, as I mentioned earlier, they are younger. Yeah. Uh, how do you think they'll relate to having you guys, well, especially, you know, you the faith person, uh, suddenly performing songs that you know I thought was cool when I was much younger and I still think it's cool. You know, we did think about that for a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's uh, you're too old to worry about what people think. And, and, you know, as soon as you just start doing things for the fun of it, amazing things start happening. You know, there was a period, uh, probably around about the time that that tweet broke up, actually. Um, you know, just after that, we were trying to, you know, second guess and think, you know, what do people want and, and what, do, what, do, what can we give them? And... And when you do that, you just end up chasing trends and it doesn't, it doesn't work. As soon as you're like, well, you know, this is the music we make, um, we're just going to play that, then, then people have fun. And I think that people that like Crash Car Burn will like Tweak. You know, it's like you showing me some of your baby photos, you know. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, that's what you look like when you were a kid, you know. It's, that's it's, very interesting. I think it'll, it'll only make, make me like you more, you know, get a better understanding of the band, where it came from and whatever. And, you know, nobody's born this amazing musician that, you know, writes amazing stuff. You, mm. You've got to start somewhere. And um, this is part of our history and we're proud of it, so. No, I think that, I mean, look, I took a look at some of the uh, uh, online comments about you guys returning. And the only people that said anything negative were the assholes that are generally negative about anything that they feel that the populace might like. Yeah. Well, to be honest, our biggest fear when with releasing this new single was that no one would say anything. So the minute that people start trolling you and giving you shit and whatever you know you're going in the right direction if no one's saying any of that stuff then you're not ruffling any feathers what's the point so um and and listen tweet back in the day man we got we took a lot of heat we, we yeah. took a lot of love but we took a lot of heat man so you know and i'm just hoping that those people that were maybe negative about the band back in the day were like you know we've grown up where else this is you know, nostalgic let's just go and have a good time and and, and, and enjoy the show yeah, I mean, look, when I look back to, I think I saw you guys perform for the first time at a New Year's party end of 2001 or something like that. Wow. I know. Where was that? <laughs> uh, at the Fort Tracker Monument, I think. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> at a party uh, whose name I'm not going to mention for radio reasons. <laughs> but... Uh, um, I do remember that. Yeah, and then years later, and I have to tell you guys in, like, internet land this. I saw this guy at a uh, four festival in uh, Mozambique and they played but in my mind you know you always stuck as being that snotty little kid on stage saying fuck for the first time and saying it as much as you, you can know, you know and then <laughs> you made me realize that uh, that listen you actually grew up because you know and that's where I got respect for Crash Car Burn Thanks. so it's, it, it's kind of like going full circle now yeah look man you know when you and I, I reckon if I had to watch a live performance of us you know, back in the day, as Tweak, I would cringe because, like you say, man, it was about offending and pissing off as many people as we can, and then, you know, about the shock factor. But, you know, we're all teenagers. You know, yeah. we all do do things, and and again, you know, it's part of our it's part of our history. And you know, I'm an old man, and I can look <laughs> back in my wisdom now, but it was fun. And you know, I, I can't say I'm not going to swear it will be copy. Let's just put it that you put probably it won't <laughs> not swear. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so you say now you've gained wisdom and of course you've walked a bit of a longer mile in the industry than a lot of young bands coming up now uh, but there's a whole resurgence of old bands happening up. I, I do blame and thank Opi Kopi for that I mean last year we had what was it Squeal playing again wow. and all that <laughs> and Spring Beauty yeah. is making a return and uh, um, what's the other one? Country Women now. If you had to pick one or two bands that you know are not playing in South Africa anymore, aren't in existence, to come back, who would you pick? So, so not specifically local bands? Well, let's, let's call it a local band. Okay, local bands, I mean, look, the New Girls, they were a huge you know, inspiration, I wouldn't say they were influenced, but they were inspiration for me. I don't know if they ever really broke up, they kind of do shows here and there and whatever, but, but I would love to see them play again. Um, Cutting Jade, you know, I always enjoyed them, we were friends with them. 
Um, They're playing again, by the way. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. We actually did a show with them not so long ago. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but you know, I'd love I don't to think see they them. Know <laughs> you know, do, getting more gig time. Who else, man? We had some, you know, some fun bands. I don't know if you remember a band called Ethel My Love. Yes. You know, just like, just for shits and giggles. I'd like to see them. That will be such a cool reunion. Again. Yeah. To have you guys on stage and a, and a whole bunch of the other old buddies. Uh, I don't know, some of them might stand there with their kids in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't do what daddy does. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Last words of advice and stuff, you know, uh, young bands going through what you went through, what, 15 years ago now, give or take? Yeah, you know, people always ask me this question and the fact of the matter is there's no advice except that you do, you got to do what you love and you got to keep at it because if you do that, you will naturally get good at it and as soon as your time comes you will take off it's it's that simple i mean that's that's what happened with the politons they're going for years before they took off that's what happened the short straw for years even tweak we were going for a good couple of years before things really happened for us so there's no fast way to do it you just got to do what you love and and hope well not hope do it for the right reasons mm. if you're in it to be famous and make a lot of money trust me you're in the wrong fucking game, <laughs> the wrong if, you country, to, wrong game. You know, if you need to have some fun with your mates and, and make music that you like and you love and you think should be out there i can't see how it's not going to work for you epic now uh, where can people find you as tweak now online right <laughs> YouTube. We have, yeah look we're on youtube search uh, tweak the new singles called the a-team we are on twitter tweak band we are on facebook tweak sa you can email us tweak south africa <laughs> Maybe you can put those links in there. I will do that. Every single one's different. <laughs> no, I like it. And I mean, I'm going to play the freaking single on my way now when I go away from here. Because cool. that, I, I commented on YouTube, that was not a song, it was a freaking time machine. <laughs> it felt like I had the right to be angsty and rebellious and that question so life and existence. so awesome, man. I'm so glad that you said that. <laughs> Dude, thanks so much for your thank, time. I appreciate you, it. Thank you. And so give a high five to the band. Will do. See you at Corpic. Cheers.